Criminal battery involves the unlawful touching of another. Generally, this involves the direct touching of the victim, such as striking another. But what if the force is indirect, such as shining a laser pointer at someone? A Virginia court shed light on this question in Adams v. Commonwealth. Sergeant Stephen Giles worked for the Gloucester County Sheriff's Department. One day, while on duty at the local high school, Giles was talking to some co-workers when he felt a stinging sensation in his eye. A co-worker noticed that Jeremy Adams, a high school senior, was pointing a laser light at Giles. Giles approached Adams, and Adams gave Giles the laser, insisting that it couldn't hurt anybody. Adams purchased the laser at a convenience store, and it contained no warning about possible injury to others. Further, Adams had previously shone the laser in his eye without suffering injury. The next day, Giles went to the doctor to have his eye examined. He was heavily irritated, but not otherwise injured. Adams was charged with assault and battery of a law enforcement officer. At trial, Adams claimed that he never intended to shine the laser into Giles' eye. Adams also argued that shining the laser on Giles didn't constitute a touching, as required for battery. Adams was convicted. He appealed to the Virginia Court of Appeals.